Thank you once again it's your favorite spoiler from Movie Drilling. For more updates, like, comment and subscribe to our channel. The summary of the Squid Game. The challenge before the finale is as follows. The announcement of the test results from the previous test opens Squid Game. The challenge episode 9. There are just 9 players remaining, and the prize fund is $4,470,000. Now that Mai is on her own, she is having difficulties. Ashley, player 278 already has her sights set on her. Players 429,016,418 and 355 begin to build an alliance in the meantime. 19 and 278 players also begin conversing. Mai and her recent choice to suggest player 278 for the dice test are the main subjects of discussion. Mai tries to contain her damage, knowing she is in trouble. She attempts to explain her decisions to player 16 by reaching out to them. She then attempts to patch things up with Ashley. Ashley won't acknowledge that during the bridge game, she wasn't a good team player. In the end, Ashley acts as like nothing happened and Mai apologizes, but she still harbors animosity for Ashley. It won't be long till the next game. The gaming hall is entered by the guards, and the players are taken aback to discover they will be playing the Circle of Trust. There will be six players eliminated. The players in this game must wear blindfolds. When one of them is tapped, a present box will be gradually placed on the seat of another player. The player who receives the present box must accurately guess who placed it in front of them. If they are unable to guess correctly, they are eliminated. The other side is eliminated if they correctly identify the response. Roland is eliminated by Mai after she places the box first. She also surmises that Elliot eliminated himself right away by setting the present box on her desk. Amanda is eliminated by Hallie, the next player. Fortunately, Phil predicts the right response and gets rid of Rose and Ashley, saving him from certain death twice. Finally, Hallie loses out when she can't figure out that Sam has deceived her. The final three players head back to their room relieved but nevertheless filled with sadness. However, the money is closer than ever with a $4,530,000 prize pool as of right now. The dorm appears very lonely, which saddens them. They are among the top three, at least. Mai makes up the story that she got rid of Amanda as they talk about who got the package. In silence, the participants determine that everyone is now on their own, and that all bets are off. It felt like a boring episode as the end drew near. Hopefully, the tempo will quicken up a little bit in the next episode. Though most of us never would have guessed these would be the top three, here we are. Because she is shrewd, Mai has several tricks under her sleeve. There are no allies left for her in the dorm. She has no remorse and is free to make her own decisions. However, Sam and Phil have become close over their stay, and I'm eager to find out who will betray the other first. Next week, we will learn who will take home the $4.56 million prize. We see the creation of the final three in a flashback. Each of them made a sincere effort to fit in and not draw attention to themselves. Phil is prepared to seize this opportunity. Mai talks about how she always forced herself to be resilient and compete to win. Sam, on the other hand, stayed hidden and gave every game his all. His plan was to win every match and make it to the next day. An old tape shows us how the final three ended up together. They all did their best to blend in and not draw attention to themselves. Phil is eager to seize the opportunity. Mai talks about how she always pushed herself to be strong and play the game to win. Sam, on the other hand, hid in the shadows and gave every game his all with the goal of winning and living to see another day. Mai acknowledges in the interview that she likes Phil but isn't convinced she can trust Sam. Guards soon arrive at the dorm and give them a black box. Before they eat dinner, they are asked to change into new clothes. The participants' conversations about their life and the choices that brought them to this point are intercut with the scenario at the last dinner. Born in Brazil, Phil is a young man whose family later moved to New Jersey. After that, he relocated to Hawaii. He intends to support those who have consistently stood with him. Sam, a gay man, endured a mother who was homophobic and lost his father when he was a little child. He conveys his hurt and dissatisfaction with his family's response to his coming out. He intends to improve his life with the money. Growing up in Vietnam, Mai arrived in America at the age of eight with her family, staying in a camp for refugees. She is a grandmother, a mother of two daughters, and a wife. Mai tells about joining the Navy at the age of 19 and being pregnant. She sobs as she describes how her family forsook her after finding out she was pregnant. Being a young parent and having to learn the ropes was challenging. Following a delectable dinner and some light conversation, the players are invited to participate in another game. Only two of them will advance to the championship game, they are informed. The announcer explains the rules of the game while setting three buttons in front of them. 
which button to press should be decided by the players. The winner of the green button can move on to the final round and choose who they want to play against. There are no risks associated with using the gray button. On the other hand, the player who chooses the red button will be eliminated right away. Fortunately, Mai chooses the green button first. Sam and Phil debate for a long time about who should go next. Sam ultimately consents to play next. Regretfully, he selects the red button and gets removed. As a result, Mai and Phil move on to the championship match. For them, the game becomes more realistic when they see the piggy bank lowered in the hostel. Fortunately, Mai chooses the green button first. Sam and Phil debate for a long time about who should go next. Sam ultimately consents to play next. Regretfully, he selects the red button and gets removed. As a result, Mai and Phil move on to the championship match. For them, the game becomes more realistic when they see the piggy bank lowered in the hostel. The last game is rock, paper, scissors, which has an ironic twist. To play the game, the players must stand in two little circles. The winner of each round gets to select a key from a box close by and try to open the safe in front of them. Until one of them opens the safe, they must continue playing the game. Mai keeps winning against Phil after numerous rounds of play. She will have more opportunities as a result to select a key and try to open the safe. In the end, she selects the correct key and her $4.56 million prize is declared. As Phil congratulates her, she breaks down in tears and celebrates her victory. A few segments with several contestants coming home conclude the episode. Some of our favorite finalists are visible to us going about their daily lives. Naturally, Biotin, player 432, also makes an appearance. Mai is also seen grinning while checking her bank account. The program closes with a tease about a potential second season and a website where interested parties can register to appear in it. We couldn't help but be pleased for Mai since, well, the chances were in her favor. She behaved honorably and played the game skillfully. Hearing her tale and witnessing how hard she pushed herself to be the last person remaining was motivational. It was a brilliant idea to build this reality program on the original Netflix series Squid Game. It was exciting and erratic. As the competitors battled for the largest single cash prize in the history of game shows and reality television, there was never a dull moment. It was so good that even people who referred to the show as the pinnacle of capitalism were unable to put it off. We are eager to see who will persevere in the face of extreme strain and laugh all the way to the bank in season 2, which is already scheduled. Which episodes of the first season were your favorites? Kindly leave your thoughts in the comments below. We always like hearing from you. Thank you once again. At Movie Drilling, we provide you with everything you need to know. For more, like, comment and subscribe to our channel.